All right, so in the project, we have housing data of sold homes in the Charleston, South Charleston, and Dunbar, West Virginia areas from January 1st, 2010 to December 31st, 2015. These dates are based on closing contract dates, not the date that the property was uploaded or listed. Uh, so in the, housing, uh, in the housing market data, we want to estimate the closing price of a property based on our, uh, on our data. So the close price would be the dependent variable, then the other variables in the model would be the explanatory variables or the predictor variables. When importing the, uh, the data, you want to uh, make sure everything is in the right, in the right uh, uh, data type. So we're gonna import NumPy as MP, import pandas as PD. This is all we really need for, for now. So let's import our, uh, our data sets as a CSV file. CSV. This is the housing data. After we import it, let's look at the first few rows to make sure it worked. And it did. Let's make sure everything's in the right uh, format. Let's do dot info. So we know the, uh, the status. This is a string for sold. All these homes have sold. The address is another object. It's just a string. City is a string. Current price. This is a floating 64-bit number, which is good. Closing price is another 64-bit number. Uh, also good. Type style, construction, subdivision. All of these are strings, which is fine. The square foot total when you're bu built. Um, floating point 64-bit numbers. This means that there's decimal. Uh, the year built probably wouldn't need to be, uh, wouldn't have any any uh, decimals in there, wouldn't have any any halves or quarters or anything like that. But the bed total, uh, this is an integer. So this is the number of bedrooms. Uh, baths, the number of, of bathrooms is an integer. The listing contract date, close date, uh, pending date, and cancel date, all of these are objects. Well, there are no cancel dates because all these homes have sold. For the close date, pending date, and listing contract date, those are objects, but they should be date time. They should be a date time format. Other than those, it looks like everything else is good. A garage is, uh, should be kind of a yes or no, or it's just a type of garage. A basement, again, it's another string. The close date, so these are, are ones that I added. So this would be an integer or a floating point number based on, on the date, which we, which we need to fix. So in order to do this, we're going to replace our, uh, let's do our listing contract date. Let's replace that. We're gonna use pandas date time index. So date time index and you give it the column. In this case, our column would be listing contract date. And we'll do the same thing for the others. So this is listing contract date. Let's do it again for the, for the pending date. This would be uh, pandas dot date time index. We're going to give it the pending date. Then we'll do it again, this time for close date. We'll do date time index. We'll give it the uh, close date. Now it seems like it works. So let's do df.info. We'll look at this again. Everything is the same except these three. Now it is a date time 64 bit number. It goes all the way to the nanosecond. That of course doesn't matter for, for, for this type of data. The only thing that would matter would be the date. Um, but we have, uh, now we have it in the right format. So this is, uh, this is an overview of the data and the project. Um, one more thing. One more thing before we, before we end the video. We have this, the cancel date, there's nothing in it. So let's look at a uh, cancel date. We pull this up, it's all NANDs. There's nothing, there's nothing there. So if we wanna drop that, we can do DF. So data frame dot drop in A. So drop all and all the values. We can say how, we can say how, it will be all. So if there's any column that has only NANDs, only not a numbers, it will be deleted. And we're going to do it for a column. Axis equals zero would be the index. Axis equal one would be the column. So axis equal one. We do this and it deletes it, which is good, but we want to keep it in place. We want to overwrite that original data frame. So we're going to say in place equal true.
Now look at the info one more time before we move on. Now we can see that it's been dropped. So this is it for this video. In the next video, we'll start the exploratory data analysis.